Today, I'm talking to two of Broadway's top leading men, Gavin Creel and Will Swenson, who memorably appeared together in the hit revival of Hair as Claude and Berger. Now they're back together talking up friend Jay Armstrong Johnson's annual Hocus Pocus themed extravaganza, this year titled I Put a Spell on You, The Sanderson Sisters Break the Internet, premiering this Thursday. Let's get the scoop. Hey guys, how you doing? So good. So good. You know, it's not every day that I get to reunite the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winning favorite onstage pair of 2009. Right. <laughs> Still a couple, still, still together, still faithful. Still together after all these years. I mean, you did cheat on Gordon McDonald. You you made that whole thing happen, but it's okay. Passing I forgive affair, you. Passing affair it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you know, there's certain people when I see them together, I just get like warm feelings and memories of of how fantastic you guys were in hair together. And God, we we could really use hair right now, couldn't we? Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. <laughs> A lyric popped into my head this morning, and I was like, oh, it was so deep. It was just, uh, it doesn't matter what it was. But anyway, it's just. I, no, say it, because I had one, too. I've been singing one the last three days with my friend up here. Yeah. Well, my wife and I were having talk, having a chat about blackness you know, in our times. That, that kind of thing up, comes up a lot. And in her career, she's gone through people accusing her of not being black enough, which is absurd. I, I would say my argument was, you, look at your theater. Look at your resume. You've done nothing. You've done Porgy and Bess. Raise it in the sun, Billy Holiday, ragtime. All you do is like carry the, this wonderful mantle of, of black storytelling. I'm sure you're absolutely black enough. And um, and then we started singing, I'm black, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> and then the end of it was when you came in and you went, I'm invisible. And yeah. like that moment, that line out of out of that sort of list nonsense was just like a new gravity that drive. It was just one of the cool, cool things about hair. Yeah. I mean, so, there's so many of those, aren't there, Will? Like like you, we found ourselves, I was singing, how dare they try to end this beauty over and over. And you just, these tiny little moments that I think ultimately speak to, uh, Paul, Paul I'm, I'm sure, I know we have talked about this for the last, God, how long was it? Tw 10 years ago, mm -hmm. over 10 years, 11 years ago. Yeah. But just how much, I feel like at that time the show just sort of hit for everyone in a way that we needed it. And you're right, we do need something. We could use it now. We could use theater, period, right now. But yeah, yeah. It also um, brought out your activism, didn't it? I mean, and, and so many people now are so um, alive in that sense. And you see how many performers now have that side of them and really sort of, you know, use social media and to do that. But I feel like mm -hmm. that was happening back then for that whole company. Wasn't oh it? my gosh! Yeah, sure. I credit Gavin with that. Gavin was was the energy behind all of that, and I credit yeah. any activism that I take part in now with Gavin's example. Uh -huh. was, we're doing this. We've got the, this ball rolling, and it was at the cusp of of marriage equality for for our country, and Gavin was at the forefront. We are, well, I, thank you, but we we I truly I was cast. Obviously, Will did the park, and and I was cast. Casey Levy, Sasha Allen, and I were all cast in the show to join and carry it to Broadway. Um, but to have that already existing, you you had sung, your, the cast had sung at Benefits and done things together and had been enmeshed. So we being dropped into it, they were already a family and ready to go. And I herald Oscar Eustace and Jenny Gersten and everybody at the public and all of the producers of Hair for falling in and doing the unthinkable, like canceling a show so we could go to Washington DC to, to protest, to, to march. Yeah. And no one does that. I still say this to the end of my life that they lost 150, over $150,000 in one show so that we could do that. No, people don't do that. But at that time, the noise was the action. You had to do, we had, we showed up and we were making signs in between shows and I mean, the, the the crew guys were making barbecue so that we could eat barbecue and make signs at the same time so that we could carry the signs on the buses that we were all organizing and to, to get to. So anyway, it's a, a uh, protest tangent, but I just that's my favorite show I've ever done. So it'll I'll never not be grateful for that man right there in the blue and, and that man right there in the gray for being supportive and helping you. Broadway.com was ushered us through and gave us a platform. I mean, yeah. you are you let us in and filmed us to do the the call to raise money for buses it was you that did right. that so it, it was it was a beautiful time and and, and I'm, I'm really grateful 
Well, you're together today because of another member of the tribe, Jay Armstrong Johnson, right. was in also in Hair. He's he's this this crazy Sanderson sisters thing has become like like such a big part. And you know, he's been to the Broadway.com studio in the full the full drag multiple times promoting it. But this year, it's all going online. I put a spell on you. The Sanderson sisters break the internet. Will premiere this Thursday at eight p.m. Eastern time at broadwaycares.org slash spell and you two are like big fancy broadway guest stars very fancy well i gotta clarify i'm i'm not really a guest star in the show will is one of the stars i just helped with a little teaser thing but will okay. he showed me pictures of your shoot and i was like what yeah. is this it's amazing yeah what are you doing in this in this special um i'm i the thing is that the i think the concept of it I, maybe i'm i'm Spoiling things, but they didn't give me any rules, so <laughs> go for it. Just go for it. And it's just break the internet, so they're kind of going through the different social media platforms on their journey. I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish. Something witchy, I imagine. But as uh -huh. they go through the different social media platforms, they meet different villains thwarting their purposes. And I'm the Joker when they get to the Joker, uh, the, uh, and I, I show up and and break the, and I mess things up for them, and I sing. Um, <laughs> It's make them laugh from singing in the rain, but in the style of like Marilyn Manson metal. Um, nice. It, it's awesome. It's one of the craziest things I've done, and I've done some crazy <laughs> stuff. We just we went there. We went we went for it, and it's it's a lot. It looks kind of amazing, I have to say. You know, people tend to win like Oscars and trophies for playing the Joker. I wonder what you're eligible for. I wonder what what are you eligible for? We got to figure it out. We got to submit you for something. A yeah. Webby? Or, is there a Webby or a, I don't know. A yeah, sure. Sure. Two yeah. Minute music video, short form, hero, <laughs> villain. Yeah. Perfect. Also in the special, uh, Tadra Hall, Robin Herter, Ivan Obozada, Bob the Drag Queen. You know, speaking of drag queens, it would have been really great if Anita and Cookie had been in this. How How do you know those names? Did I've I known you a long time. I've known both of you a long time. Wait, I got to send you a picture so you can put a picture up because it's full out. Yeah. Well, that's ironic because when you first told me about Anita and Cookie, you said no photo will ever appear of Anita and Cookie on Broadway.com. Okay, 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 then it won't. Then it won't. Then it won't. <laughs> wait. Send it to me, though. Send it to me. Wait, I'm, you keep talking. I'm just going to see if I can find one. I think I have So, it So, Will, uh, when you guys were doing hair over in London, right? Isn't that what this yeah. happened? Yeah. And you were, you were cast uh, in Priscilla. Yep. Queen of the desert, a queen of the desert. I like to call her. Um, and you were you were in drag in in Priscilla. You were fantastic. Go but you here. you guys had a little trial run. So talk we about that night. Some homework just to do some some uh, some underground homework and see what it was like. And so we got dolled up after the show one night, and we went out all night long in London and hit like- the, we, the sun rose. At the end of the we, night, the sun was coming up. We did the thing, and we were in full on dresses and platforms and big hair and makeup. And it was, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Wait, who's who? It goes Steele, Gavin, Anthony, Will. Oh, oh, Will. Will is giving you like- Cleavage. Trump, Trump Cleavage? I'm a little dominatrixy leather. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then oh, that was, nice. Will, Will was Anita V. China. Then Anthony was Bobby Pin. I was Cookie Tucker. And that right there is Stella Mann. Stella Mann. <laughs> that is yeah. stunning. That but is reason, stunning work. The reason was it's so beautiful that Will was like method. It was like, you know, if I'm going to play this, I need to know what it's like to go out. And, and he came, I think you came to me first. You know, would you do this with me? And I was like, yes. And as the day got closer and closer, I was like, oh, are we really going to do this? Are we? And then had the people from Priscilla come over, the makeup folks, the hair and makeup, they came over and gave us the wigs and did us up and like washed yeah. our eyebrows and everything. And it was we, the we, we got drinks bought for us all night. We got called poofters and like almost got beat up when we were walking home, I remember. Yeah, somebody slapped my butt and you've never seen th four women turn into four men faster. We were like, don't you, you know, It was amazing. And it was also enlightening. This is so, um, well, I hope this doesn't sound offensive at all, but it was spiritually enlightening about what women, like to walk in women's shoes and to be, it was empowering, first of all. The minute we put it on, I was like, oh, I don't even have to worry about being in care. I, I was like, 
Yeah. They are the most powerful sex on the planet, without any doubt. And I'm impersonating one terribly. It was really eye-opening. Oh, it was enlightening, yeah. And empowering. It certainly made me understand, like, the minute we did, we, we were in drag and walking down on the street, I was like, oh, I'm a whole new person. So I understood, like, the allure of drag, like, of reinvention, of just like, oh, I can be, I can be all the things that I'm not as myself. I can be powerful. I can be sexy, you know, and mm -hmm. it was a persona. It was a whole new thing. I think you're sexy, Will, on your own, just as you are. Working on it. So do, do, uh, do you like dressing up in costume? I mean, let's talk about Halloween a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess Halloween is happening this year, right? Halloween is happening? Is it happening in your house, Will? I mean, we have a three-year-old, four. She turned four this week. Um, she's gung-ho about it, but I don't really feel great about knocking on strangers' doors and right. saying, give me pieces of candy that your hands have been all over. I don't feel great about that. Yeah, um, we know everybody on our street, and you know we, we'll knock on two or three doors that we know. I think that works for us, but I feel bad for like the eight, nine, ten-year-old mm. kids that want to actually yeah. get all that candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're definitely. You put, are you going to put like a costume on to go with her? For sure, for sure. I was growing a beard all all of COVID. I had a beard that was six inches long because Sally said you're going to be braid beard for Halloween, which is the <laughs> book that we read called How to Be a Pirate. And I was like, all right. So I had this trucker beard and it was driving me crazy. But I was like, I'm not, I don't need to have a clean face for anything. And then one day she was like, daddy, I'm tired of your beard. <laughs> so we shaved it off that day. And uh, so now I'm not sure what I'm gonna be, but she's gonna be a butterfly fairy princess combo. Oh. Yeah. You got, well, what's that? What's that going to, wings? Okay, and I, I made some wings and I've got a ballerina tutu and I'm, I got some Christmas twinkle lights that I'm going to sew into it so that it lights up. And then I got some spray paint to kind of make it like a fall ombre. Oh, onto. Will, Will is full out. You got to show him the picture of, la was it last oh, year? Was yeah, I made her a cello. Last year she wanted to be a cello and I made the most badass cello costume. It was amazing. While he's looking for that, I'll show you. This is not this is <laughs> show and tell. You know, Will, I was worried about that beard, and I'm glad to. It's so sweet to find out that you were just doing it. You're like, what? I was worried when I first saw you. I was like, what is this look he's going for? Uh, but uh, I'm glad to find out it's just you being a sweet father. What, what, what are you showing me? What is that? That's my costume closet. I have a costume closet in my little house up here yeah. that I was like dead set on having. I've got sequins, I've got wigs, I've got stuff. So I'll pull something out of there at some point to dress up. Well, you up. know, you did come in and do an interview with me once and changed a wig every three minutes. So I know of your- um, Very Gavin. I know of your habits. Uh, I, love your Paul. I, love, I love going to broadway.com. I love talking to you. And I knew that we'd done a talk like this before and I said, we gotta make it different. So that was fun. And the, the, all those wigs are in that box back there. Okay, I love there, it. there it is. Um, oh, wow. That's amazing. I mean, that's amazing. Know. Yeah. Well, you haven't done a lot of at-home filming stuff. Like, what, you, like your setup, like, do you, are, you, are you wearing pants now? What, what's, 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 like, what's, your, um, what's your routine yeah, with them? Um... I mean. <laughs> OK, good. Good. Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for confirming. It's good to yeah. confirm. <laughs> I will say the smell of me is just repulsive. It's repugnant. Like me that too. I raced back because 10.30 was the start time or whatever 30 it was supposed to be, Gavin. And I was jogging and I was like, oh, Sally, sorry, we can't, uh, we can't stop for our donut today because we got to get back and do this thing. So I'm just making Gavin feel worse. Right? I'm so sorry. I'm sending you a box of donuts. Both of you are getting donuts on me. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. <laughs> and, then, and then I didn't shower either, so I don't smell good either. So yeah. neither of you, neither of you have bathed today. That's the inside information. Today, <laughs> I mean, what day is it? I like, I wake up sometimes and I'm just like, I'm fine with that. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just so uh, long. <laughs> it's just, it's I, don't know. Know. I had COVID right at the very beginning of this whole yeah. thing, and I lost my sense of smell and taste. I've never lost my sense of smell before, and it was it was extremely claustrophobic for me and very depressing. I found that very alarming. In a weird way, you think, oh, you lose your. There was no at that time. We didn't know if it was going to come. I didn't know if this the the weird, cruel joke of this whole disease was. Millions of people are going to get it. They'll recover, but no one is going to taste or smell ever again. You know, I just I was scared of, and they didn't. There, it wasn't a symptom at the time I got it because it was so early. Anyway. I wasn't sure if I was losing my sense of smell. So I was like FaceTiming friends and going, okay, I'm closing my eyes. I've got garlic in one hand and I've got cinnamon in the other. And I mix them up and I'm not looking, I swear to God. And they're like, okay, now pull your right hand to your nose. And I was like, like sniffing. And I was like, 
I don't smell anything. And I and, and it was just garlic. And I was like, okay, this is the garlic, right? And I, no, that's a cinnamon. And then I, I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I took, bless him, he's passed now. But I, I took Wally's mouth open and I stuck my nose inside his mouth. And I took a, and I was like, I know that smells like hot doo-doo on a good day. So when I couldn't smell anything in there, I was like, yeah, it's gone. I don't have any sense oh. of smell or taste. I don't know why I told that story just now. That reminds me of the time that I lost my sense of humor. <laughs> That's what you lost. It felt, that felt claustrophobic for me as well. And I called up friends and I was like, okay, tell me a joke. And then you tell me a joke. And then I laughed. And I didn't laugh. So that yeah, I think a lot of people can relate to that. I think that's actually going around. I think that's a thing oh my right God. now. Yes, right now. Yeah, well, we're still waiting for your sense of humor to come back. <laughs> Would you ever do a show again together? Did you ever talk about that? Oh my God, in a heartbeat. We've we've flirted with a few ideas on along the way, but I I want to do something new with Will because right. in a way, like hair was new in a lot of ways, and even though yeah. we had done it before, we got a chance to find our own stuff together. I, I'd like to do that. Would you, Will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best stuff. Anyway. I feel like we've grown up a lot since 2009 as well. Like so much has happened in our lives. Well, <laughs> maybe. A little. I didn't say matured. I just meant grown up. Yeah. And by grown <laughs> up, I do mean. Better. I was just going to say my waistline <laughs> is bigger. <Yeah. laughs> Trying to figure out what you guys could play, though. Like if some, if, if some writers were watching and they were like, yeah, I will write a show for them. Like what I'm trying to figure out what your relationship would be or like, what's the, well, I mean, London. other than two drag Queens in London. I mean, that's the obvious one, but uh, yeah, that, that is the, thank you, Paul. That is the obvious one. Is anybody watching? <laughs> hello. Hello. Do, uh, what's that musical that two hander? I do. I do. We should do. I do. I do as a gay couple. Oh, oh. I don't know that musical, but I've always wanted to see it. And I would finally see it under those cool. pretenses. I'll yeah. have to go listen to it. Okay, we're gonna work on that. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go listen to it too. I'm gonna go figure it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just lay it on the line. But for right now, we're all gonna go watch Will play the Joker on Thursday night at eight o'clock. And remember, he has no sense of humor, but hopefully, you will when you're watching <laughs> this, because Hocus Pocus is a thing. I mean, I was already like in my twenties when it came out, so I think I kind of, it wasn't really my thing. But yeah. I love all those. I love the actors and I love the fan base. And but Midler, right? Your 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 friend Gavin, she's doing it this year too. That's her, did, right? What are you What are you pointing her, to? That's Bette her Midler? right there. That's a picture of her right there. Oh, okay. It's, it's a photo of her. It's not actually Bette Midler. Yeah, she's in a uh, box to keep her with me. And the records <laughs> that she gave you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I have a bunch of records. She gave me records downstairs, and my record players downstairs. She gave you records from her what? personal collection. I showed up at work one day and there was a stack of five with the post-it that said, this will get you started. Love bet. And it was F Bob Dylan, Freewheeling, Laura Nero and LaBelle, LaBelle uh, the B couple Beatles, one other. I, it was, I, I, I went down and I was like, I just cannot believe I'm holding that. I can't believe this. Wow. Real. She was like, oh, you're welcome. Y'all have fun with that. I said, these are Bette, Midler's, Bette, Bette Midler's records. But I, I wasn't a hocus, you weren't a hocus pocus person, were you, Will? No. Uh -uh. No. No, I, I mean, think it's an age, I think it's an age thing. Anthony Jamie's like the funniest actor. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I think we're like we're slightly too old, I think. Maybe. Yeah. No, like no offense. Yeah. We're all kind of the same Jay, age. I have to say Jay is not and Jay has like been doing this this thing, this joyful thing every year for like the last 5 or 6 years and he pivoted like everybody's had to during this time. And the amount of work and energy and money that they've raised and they and Broadway yeah. Cares jumping on board and helping them produce, yeah. it is sort of to me the beauty of our industry and the community that we're a part of. That like Will is like, okay, I'll come and and do you went upstate to film, didn't you? Or to some some the city. You did do your part in the city. Uh -huh. But they they got people, Eva and and Robin and all these amazing Todd Rick and all these amazing people to be a part. Yeah. At a time when we need to laugh, we need we need some joy, we need some fun, and we need to not. It's not to be. It's going to raise money for Broadway Cares, but it's 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 to remind us that like there's magic and weirdness and fun and joy, and we can smile and have a good time. I, I can't wait. I know nothing about it except for that I trust Jay Johnson implicitly and Cone Limon, his producing team and everything. Yeah. What I've heard about them is really exciting yeah. and forward thinking and progressive and about inclusion and diversity and uh, all it's, it's it's thrilling so can't wait
Awesome. I can't wait either. We're going to be cheering you on, Will. We're going to find you a trophy. We're going to find you a trophy for this Joker work. Win some. Yeah. I've yeah. got one yeah. you can borrow if you want. <laughs> Shady. You know what? Shady. You know what, though, Gavin? I honestly think a, uh, a pile of Bette Midler's vinyl is better than a Tony Award. I got oh, it. Are you kidding? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. So good to see you. I can't wait to see you again in person someday. Very soon. Big up to you. Everyone watch it. Broadwaycares.org slash spell. Bye, guys. Bye. Such an ancient pitch, but one I wouldn't switch, for there's no nicer witch, Lord knows I wouldn't switch, cause there's no nicer witch than you. Sisters, we have a problem. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine.